Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Marquise Walker and the Giants here in episode 79 will take on the Buffalo Bills, a team that is 5-3, one of the better opponents here on our schedule. We do have some more division games upcoming, but we'll see if we can make it a game further, or I guess another game up on the division here as we continue the push for the postseason. I might do some two-game episodes as we continue on, especially if we're able to really separate after these division games. And then we'll get on to the playoff run, which will be the last of this series. Overall, here are the stats on the season for Marquise Walker, averaging 268 yards per game. He has five interceptions and 18 touchdown passes with a couple touchdown runs in there. One of the things I really want to do this year is see what we can do with the rushing total for Saquon Barkley that could reach 1,000 today, it's possible. And then Odell Beckham Jr., who I guess could reach 1,000 today as well if things go right. But I can't believe how much more yards he has than everybody else. Looking for win number eight today, and the New York Giants are sporting a new uniform set. We're using the 2000s red alternate with the 1980s pants. I thought this uniform setup did go fairly well together. I was hoping there'd be some different pants, maybe some blue or red pants, but they're pretty much all white or gray, so I had to... Uh, Go with a combination I thought worked, but I wanted to switch up the uniforms. The Giants have a very good uniform set up. I pretty much like everything they've had and have ever had. But let's get this going. Odell's looking for touchdown number 75 on the career. As he's trying to put up some career best numbers this season. First and 10. We're going to start things with a pass. And maybe there's no one we're throwing to on this play. Marquise is sacked for the 36th time this year. They pretty much had everybody covered there for a while. We'll try Barkley now on the run. Working to the left, spinning free to the outside. He's across the 50 and taken out of bounds after a 27-yard opening touch. Normally when I have good receiving cores like this and we're pretty deep, I end up spreading the ball around to the point where nobody really gets... Those outstanding numbers as Barkley shows why he might be the best in the game. But like in my dynasties and past franchises, a lot of players will end up with very similar receiving stats by the end of the year. But this is one of those exceptions where Odell has doubled anybody else on the roster. And I'm pretty sure he has more yards than any combination of two players on the team. Oh no! Almost picked! Thought I would have time for that one. All right, from the first uh, few plays here, I feel like running's going to be, you know, probably okay. Passing could be a little trouble for us. Already uh, seen some good coverage and some pass rush. Now we'll try Barkley again outside. And this time they make the play. All right, we're in field goal range here. Can't take a sack. And we'll avoid that, but Beckham is not going to convert as the Bills protect the sticks. So we get three on the board, and I'm probably not going to run against this look. We'll bring some pressure. Let's get this one over the middle as a first down grab made by Spencer Gresham. Now we'll do some I-form running. Again, Barkley with a lane and close to another Giants first down. Just 99 last week. And I say just 99 because he's averaging over 100 per game and that drops his average. Let's go with a delay now. The draw to Barkley and another first down up to the 45 of Buffalo. We'll try going back to the air on this first down. There's an easy look. Ingram, gain of five. This has long been one of my favorite plays, regardless of series. So second down and five. Why don't we go across the middle again? Beating the cover two defense. Another first. They stack the box again. I wonder if it really matters. Let's just try it. Barkley, right up the middle, picking up six more. I don't like this call now against this look. We're audibling. Will they blitz? Nope. They were bluffing. 
Marquise the takeoff. Let's find the opening here and go down. I had to decide there at the final moment. Was I going to try another spin? I've done that time and time again. I decided this time I'd take a break from that idea. Driving in the red zone. We'll give it to Barkley again. And he'll follow 76 to the 9-yard line and get to a third and short. Now, if they're bluffing, this play doesn't work anywhere near as well. I don't think we need three slants. I think if we go slant flat on that side, we're okay. That's covered, though. Marquise, can he get away? Not entirely. Taken down after a minimal pickup. And they're probably going to force me to kick the field goal now. Defense is doing their job, so six to nothing as we take over again. Two field goal possessions. Got to convert down there in the red zone or just score before we get there. Sometimes that's a little easier. We have many big play threats. Marquise on the move. I know circle's wide open. I can't get it there, though. That's caught by Shepard. Gain of seven. Try the draw play again. Barkley into the second level, moving the chains once more. Hard to not give Saquon Barkley a heavier portion of the workload here in the beginning. Barkley runs again. Just way too easy. 72 yards. We'll get back to the air on this play. Now some room. Walker can get some rushing success as well. Sliding inside the 30. 13 rushes and 7 passes. Wow, I didn't realize we were actually, like, imbalanced the opposite way we normally are. Here's second down. And this time I want to run again. Why not? They're not getting enough pressure. And that middle of the field, that intermediate space has been open all day. Whether it be for Barkley, Marquis scrambling, throwing. It's like no one's playing linebacker or they're just playing way too deep. I know they've called some cover too. And that leaves a lot of uh, area there to work with. And there's Barkley inside the 10. I'll probably take a look at the sliders after this game, though. I have adjusted them throughout the series. We're going to Mullins on this one, though, and he'll take it inside the five. I just remember, Tredavious White's the defender. I really don't want to just go 50-50 against someone as good as him. Second and goal. Got to float it. Punched away. All right, third down. Hoping to avoid a third field goal. Walker away from one, but nobody else as he's taken down by Simmons. Well, three field goals, and now after a turnover, we're in range for a fourth. Have not finished a drive yet. Can we do it this time? Fourth time's a charm. From the 29. Got Edmonds to bite there, it looked like. And that is caught by Ingram. And he'll pick up eight yards with the power. Now let's get back in the red zone. Barkley only getting about four. What's it going to take to finish a drive? We're going to try running the trap now. It is Barkley. He's going to cut left. Get up field and be close to another first down. How about the same play? Third and one. That'll do it. Barkley down to the two-yard line and crossing the century mark in the first half. Really trying to avoid a fourth field goal here. First and goal. And how about in the end zone? We got a wide open receiver. Sterling Shepard separates. And finally, we finish a drive. And still we're pitching the shutout. And we have ourselves now a 16 to nothing game. And we'll have a chance to add more starting now at the 32 yard line. Good look for a big play here. We're gonna lob it, just kidding. I probably would have given a chance to Ingram, but now Tremaine Edmonds has other plans. Down to 44 seconds now, and I gotta lob this one now. Ingram's there, separating, and I believe he was covered by Tremaine Edmonds. He just got like five yards of separation against one of the most 
athletic, rangy linebackers to come out of the draft in a while. I am really excited, though, to see what Tremaine Edmonds does in real life, how he'll develop as a player. Love his uh, skill set, obviously, and what he brings to the table. That's complete to Beckham. I can't say I watched a, a ton of Bills games last year, so I'll probably catch up on some of that stuff before the season begins and see what I thought of his rookie year because I can't really remember much from his rookie season. Here's first and 10 now. Thought about just throwing it up, but I'm not thinking that's a good idea. How about this time up top? Oh my, it did not work. I threw it up and he went up to get it. He comes down out of bounds? Come on, you gotta rule that a touchdown at least and then overturn it by review. I've started to really like the high pass mechanic this year. How else are you gonna throw it into double coverage like this and give your player a shot? That is a, a really cool play and you know what? In college, this would have been a touchdown. We're gonna try something different now. It is Barkley and two defenders meet him initially. That doesn't happen often. I still feel that one of the weaker parts of my game here overall is red zone passing, specifically like these situations. I don't have a lot of go-to route combos I love here. Uh, if I can isolate for a fade, obviously uh, I'll take a 50-50 oftentimes. But we're going to buy some time here. I see Beckham, and he's open with the diving catch. Touchdown, New York Giants. That's where they need to up the zone defense AI. Because I can kind of see where the opening is going to happen, like five yards before it does. The zones are a little passive at times. 23 to nothing. And that's just half the game. All right, so let's see what we can do now with the remaining quarters as we pitch this shutout and Barkley trying to get outside. He'll end up spinning back in for five. I know with Madden 20 around the corner, a lot of you will be wondering about upcoming series and everything else. I do intend to do a franchise like the Cardinals with a new team. Don't know what team yet. But as far as player base goes, you know, I really don't know. I think I'll want to check out the QB1 part of franchise. Um, I don't know if I'll do a full series, though. I do prefer doing, like, team-oriented content, like the Surf and the, the Cardinals series. I still enjoy doing uh, player base stuff. Oh, my! That's a catch! Caught by Gresham! I mean, the more entertaining the games are, the more I'm going to enjoy a series regardless. Um, I really enjoyed, like, the Matt Pierre series, for instance. That's probably my favorite all-time player-based series. If not, it's right behind, like, Sammy Hollins. But I uh, got through 10 years of that one, and it was a really fun grind with Matt Pierre. I've enjoyed this, but... I wish that, obviously, the gameplay were a lot better in many areas. It could have made the, the games a bit more entertaining. But still, there's been a fun climb in here, especially starting out with Marquis so low in overall. That's something I really wanted to make different about this series. That's incomplete. But I do like having a smaller series like this to work on while I also have the larger series. It's nice to have a little bit of balance there. So I really don't want to commit to anything yet as Walker will get the first down. Like, if they were to do some more significant upgrades to player base mode, I think that'd be a big help. I know with the scenario engine this year, it could be more interesting, but I'm not sure, you know, how that's going to affect everything. That's basically the, the main thing I want to play with when Madden 20 is out. I want to see if that scenario engine you know, is solid in year one of its implementation. Ooh, probably shouldn't have floated that one. Le'Veon Mullins checks in now, and he's going to get some room to do his work. First down to the 37. All right, let's go and make this 30 to nothing. That's the plan as we handle the rush. And, oh, I thought we did. Barkley, he's not going to fix this. 
Now a long way to go, and I found a way to get the yards back! First down, Evan Ingram! With the outstretched arms, brings it in. All right, don't gotta take any chances here. It is 23 to nothing after all. So third down for the Giants. And pretty good coverage now from Buffalo. Here goes Walker. Thank you for the block, Shepard. And sliding down. It's a good pickup. And Walker has 65 rushing yards. That's got to be his longest in a very long time. I didn't realize it was that many. Or even close. I think I'm ready to wrap this one up. Pitch left to Barkley. Shakes free from one. He'll break another tackle. And yes, he does power in. For the rushing touchdown. The plays he can put together in here. It's been really fun to watch. 30 to nothing. Well, we're going to get some backups a bit more playing time now the rest of the way. Don't want to risk serious injury to Saquon Barkley, who's already had a very busy day. So get ready for the Le'Veon Mullins show. I'm also chewing clock as well. Third down and eight. And there it is. It's a first down catch made by Ingram. And good protection there to give me time as Edmonds was watching that slot. Oh my! Saquon Barkley was not seeing this kind of run defense. Mullins gets it again. Oh, a flag down, and he lowers his head and runs over the safety. Now, is this holding? I feel like I haven't seen a holding on a running play in a long time, but that at least reaffirms that it can happen. How about 23 yards? Mullins. He'll get some, but nowhere near enough. Well, so much for the shutout. It's 30 to 7 now. Buffalo finally got into the end zone and on the board. But this is going to go in as another dominant win for the Giants. Like I said, I'm going to take a look at the sliders afterwards and just see if there's something that could be fixed up. The running game mainly is my concern. It's just been pretty easy to get 7 to 10 yard chunks on inside zone. All right, Mullins, you got this. Third and five. Le'Veon Mullins gets seven. Here we go, Mullins. You got some room here. And he's across the 50 with this one. Now at 58 yards. Oh, it's a third running back now. Harrington into the game. I don't even know. I can't remember him very well. We only ever use two backs normally, unless you have an interesting situation where your uh, third down back and power back start to switch things up for you. Some teams I've seen do that, like in the Cardinals series, the, the Bears for a while, they had a really talented fullback who was a good pass catcher, and he was their third down back, but they had a different main running back and power back. So created a bit of a rotation there. But normally getting three involved is uncommon. Here's a handoff again. Mullins not having the same success as Barkley. It's just facts as good as Saquon Barkley can really break the game, as we've all seen. And the Bills run the clock out, and this game is over. Ooh, that's a good shot of Beckham on the diving touchdown. Giants pick up win number eight, and now we'll have some division games upcoming. And if those go too easy, then we are going to speed things up and hurry on to the postseason to see if Marquise can finally get that Super Bowl ring. Definitely a more run-oriented game today. It was like an episode of the Matt Pierre series instead of the Walker series. Two touchdowns, though. 14 of 20 passing as Barkley ran for 5.6 a carry. Mullins, 4.7. And this was supposed to be against a really good rush defense. Well, Dallas is at 5-4 on the season, so maybe it's a good idea to start doing some two-game episodes here next time. I'm going to take a look at the sliders, though, and just see. My run blocking's 52, so it's not outrageous, but... 
The tackling is 45 for the CPU. So what I'll probably do, for those of you that still want to see the sliders, I'm going to knock this down to 50, and then I'm going to bring up the tackling to 50 as well. Why not? It's so close to default, and there have been so many patches and everything. This is, uh, you know, 50s across the board is what I use in the Cardinals series. So I don't mind getting a lot of this stuff closer to that as well. Remember, if you want to use these sliders, I don't care about my defense or the CPU offense. I don't even uh, touch those. They're just imported from another set of mine, but they don't impact the Marquise Walker series because we don't see our defense or the opposing offense. So that, everybody will about wrap things up but I do want to see the stats and how close we are to some milestones now Marquise now 20 touchdowns five picks good ratio there are four and then Saquon Barkley dominant 960 yards on the ground with Odell's 819 in the air that's gonna do it for this episode everybody hope you had a good time please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and we'll start doing some two-game episodes here to make some more progress for Walker and the Giants. I'll see you all next time. Have a great day, everybody.